congratulations on yet another nomination. For what's it like coming back to the BAFTAs again? What does the BAFTAs mean to you? Uh, do you know, I, I love the BAFTAs. This is my ninth BAFTA nomination. I, I haven't got a good strike rate because I've only won one of them, but it's such a classy night out. You know, it's a wonderful venue. It's, it's really thrilling to be back. I absolutely adore the BAFTAs. Fantastic. And obviously Star Wars Force Awakens used so many more practical effects compared to previous incarnations. What, what, how, how has it changed? How do, you, how do you make the film sort of stay true to the Star Wars feel, but equally make it better and bigger for the audience as well? I think J.J. Abrams was very clear that he wanted to use the Episode 4, The New Hope, as our benchmark for how we move forward with Episode 7. And, but the great thing that we had on Episode 7 is the, you know, the, the invention of CGI and digital effects, which they didn't have on, on The New Hope. So it was, it was wonderful being able to combine you know, the practical effects that we did with the, with the new state of the art visual effects. Uh, and create a, you know, it was a wonderful marriage between, between the two departments. And you know, visual effects is a great tool for us. It's, it's you know, like we all love to say that everything's done practically, but without the visual effects guys, it, uh, they make us look good a lot of the time. It's fantastic. Have things changed a fair bit though? Because obviously CG was like the, you know, it's, it's still relatively a new thing. And it, uh, people thought it was the be all and end all. And uh, were you ever worried that it was just going to take over and that unfortunately practical effects were on their way out? Absolutely. I think, I mean, probably going back to GoldenEye days, which was 95, and it was a real storm coming towards us. And um, I think most of us felt we were only going to have another five years left and then start looking for another job. But what it actually did was propel films to a place where we were actually getting asked to do more to supplement what the visual effects people could do and you know for example my my crew on gold night was something like 40 and i'm working with 80 90 100 crew now so it's sort of we sort of leapfrobbed along along with them it was great and is it quite a nice feeling to think yeah they really they they, they need us and they're always going to need us um it's i don't think I, I would be i wouldn't be so brave to say that but we, we, we are really well together now it's a, it's a great marriage and um, the, the two departments have learned to intermingle and interact to produce what is best for the film not just a showcase for each department and just finally obviously we've got the next Star Wars incarnations coming up I'm sure you can't say a thing about it but okay. but just uh, it, it must be so exciting so obviously the build-up for Force Awakens and now this next one do you get tired or is it hard to keep these secrets or do you quite enjoy knowing these things that you know the fans are, are so excited to see I, I think we all want to keep secrets we don't want it to be spoiled for the audience you know, it's great when you go and see a film and you, you don't know what to expect you know if you keep getting these little droplets of information it sort of kind of takes the edge off it a little bit so we're all very very um, keen to make keep all the secrets you know close to our chest right, well have a really really good night tonight and good luck for your second BAFTA thank you so much ladies and gentlemen you're watching hey you guys hey you guys huh hey you guys, is that yeah. from the Goonies it is indeed, yeah. nice hey